Besides questions, you can also have certain actions. If we go with the action block, you have a whole variety of actions that you can choose from. If we hover over the add item on the right, you will see different kinds of actions. Basic actions, advanced actions, integrations, notification, or e-commerce actions. If you hover over the basic actions, you will be able to add or remove a tag. You will be able to set or clear a custom field. You can also clear all the custom user fields at one particular time. You will be able to do a JSON operation, subscribe a user to a sequence or unsubscribe it, subscribe or unsubscribe from the chatbot, set the email opt-in or opt-out, same for SMS, mark the conversation as open or done, enable the talk to human and pause automation, which will allow to pause the chatbot entirely, or you can also delete the bot user from your contacts list. If we go over towards the advanced actions, you will be able to do external requests. External requests will be the equivalent to a API call that you can make to external platforms. So if we take a look inside, you will be able to select your API type. Currently we support get, post, put, delete, patch, head and options. To the right of it, you will be able to insert the request URL. Below this, you will have different kinds of tabs to customize the API call according to the preferences of the third party platform. You have the URL parameters. You will have the headers. You will have the body where you can choose to not include a body. You will be able to do a multi-part form data. And you'll also be able to do a form URL encoded or a raw file. If we choose the raw file, you will be able to choose between JSON, text, JavaScript, HTML, and XML. Inside the authorization tab, you will have different kinds of options like a basic authentication, a digest authentication, or just a bearer token. This speeds up the authorization tab because otherwise you will need to include it inside of the header. But our chatbot platform supports the authorization of these kinds of authentications. You just insert the one that you want to. So for example, bear a token. And the only thing you need to insert now is the token itself. Once testing, you will also see a response. In a later video, we will come back to this to show you how you can utilize this and save the response values inside of custom fields. If we go further with the advanced actions, you also have smart delays, where you will be able to set a smart delay and let the chatbot wait for a particular duration or a specified date and time or a dynamic date and time. You can wait for seconds, minutes or hours, and you can also set to continue the time limit. So for example, if you only want to send a message between 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. And you can also choose the particular days. You'll also have JavaScript functions. So if you are a developer and you're writing JavaScript, then you can do a lot of implementations inside of our chatbot as well. We have different kinds of preset libraries for you to use directly. If we go with the library, you'll see that we have quite a few already implemented. So you can just select the one that you like to, to skip a few lines of extra JavaScript. We also are able to set the language to another preset language. We can set a user menu, which we will come back to in a future video. And we can also trigger a workflow. And a workflow, as mentioned before, is considered to be a backend flow where the chatbot runs all kinds of backend tasks like adding or removing tags or something more specific to your use case. We also have an integration step where you will be able to integrate with all the integrations that we currently support. You'll also have a notification step where you can send email notifications, Slack notifications, SMS notifications, and even make a phone call to notify yourself, one of the admins, or anyone that you like to. You'll also be able to go towards the e-commerce settings where you can get products, add products to a cart, remove from a cart, empty the cart, and mark the card as paid.